Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. And I have what I have melted for the first half of March. Um, I know I posted my what I melted for the burn melted for the month of uh, February February roundup. For some reason, that video got corrupt, and there was just I just ended up tossing it. To be honest with you, I was like. I don't edit my videos and it didn't look like it was that bad and then, and then you guys said a couple of you mentioned that it was a bit weird so I watched the first couple seconds of it I was like holy cow that never even gave me any indication as to anything going on so anyway thank you guys for those of you who pointed out to me I just decided to delete it it's just not worth at the end of the day all the hassle and the trouble um, as this is not my job <laughs> so I plan on obviously uploading when I can uh, with what I have so today like I say we're gonna do what I've melted for the first half of March before I go any further I just moisturized my hands with my lemony flutter flutter cuticle butter from lush which is awesome I highly recommend this especially before bed get it in the cuticles it's great for dry hands um, knees elbows all that stuff it's just beautiful so very it's not not sponsored here but i just wanted to say because my my hands are a little bit like a little more glistening than normal um because uh it's definitely lotioned up all right so as you can see before you i have a bath and Byworks baja cactus blossom which has been doing spectacularly and it's on its last legs i have been burning this one in my bathroom Campfire Donut, which came out, I want to say, fall of 2018. It's okay. It's had some major pull-out issues, which, again, I'm seriously not surprised at at all. My Bath & Byrex candles, regardless of how old or new they are, are so temperamental. Um, I only did buy one of uh, Campfire Donut just because I'm like, it's a bit sweet. Um, but I like it. It's good. I wouldn't say it's super strong. But it's burning better now, but that's after, how many hours has that been on? I want to say like five hours that's been burning now. Not, and that, this is like the third burn. So it's not like five hours and that's how far down it's, it's burned. No, it's finally pulled out, but there's still residual wax all along the edges where it didn't pull out for the longest time. And then this one over here, I actually have the box for. And I'm hap I'm sad to say it's my last one of the probably one of the most popular finds at Marshall's TJ Maxx uh, winners or home scents for North America probably two and a half, three years ago. This was the rage. This brand, Aquis, from the portfolio collection around this time, we found so many different, and I have burned, the, I have a full on playlist for this brand. I've probably burned about 12 different scents from this, from this company, and I found them at my discount store. They're $14.99. The jars are absolutely amazing. They retain the heat so very well. They truly do burn all the way to the bottom. The majority of the scents that I picked up, unfortunately, although smelt really great on cold, did not have a great throw. On this, on this hand, though, sandalwood vanilla is fantastic. If I could find more of this, I would absolutely buy more of this. It's just the perfect background scent. Um, it's beautiful and the notes read white flower, creamy vanilla, sandalwood, and musk. It's actually really, really pretty. It could be um, a bedroom scent. It could be going anywhere, really. Um, I have been burning it exclusively in my living room, but uh, I've really enjoyed this. And if I did see it, because I have, there's certain brands now that I've burnt a lot of and I completely pass over now. Um, if I did see, per like if I saw this one again, I would likely pick up another one. It was very pleasant. So anyway, that's what this one is here. So we'll just put that there. And okay, so huh. All right, so here's one. I decided to burn this even though it's it's the Peck Sniffs England's Pine and Clove. This was part of Winter's Throwback Thursday, but no one picked it again uh, for two or three winters in a row. This is the jar here. It's just a small little jar. I got it for $5.99 a couple of years ago. Um, this was, my burn was fine and it almost burnt completely like all that wax. No, like, you know, little smudgy, smudgy areas on the side, but not a big deal, no sitting, but absolutely zero throw. You literally had to be stuck on top of it, burning your nose hairs uh, to get a scent from it. So I know this from burning other pick sniffs candles in the past. And actually I, that is one of the brands I do tend to completely look over when I see them in my discount stores because I've had such um, terrible luck with them. So 
All right, another Bath and Body Works one. Try, tested, and true. This is the lavender and vanilla scented candle, and this is the jar is a cobalt blue. It's absolutely beautiful. It burnt for a Bath and Body Works candle. It burnt beautifully and right to the bottom, pretty much. This is the little dust cover on top. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful candle. I had this burning in my bathroom. I would definitely buy this again. And it never had any issues with the burn, so I'd likely buy it to burn it and not buy another one to chop up. With that being said, I actually pulled out the larger three wick version of this and it's on standby to replace one of these other ones when they go. Um, it will also go into the bathroom as well. Uh, so I already have a backup of lavender vanilla in this packaging, but like this color blue in the three wick version. But again, if I were to see it down the road, I would absolutely repurchase this. It's one of my favorites. Um, yeah, I've quite, quite enjoyed that. So there is that. All right. As per, I've said this time and time again, I melted some more. This, I didn't completely, I'm literally down to my last little bit of love spell from Hayden Rowe. So I placed it into one of the uh, vintage cheek bags that I've purchased or had been given in the past. But love spell is Victoria's Secret's love spell scent. It's absolutely amazing. Um, love spell, vanilla lace, oh gosh, champagne, something like that. I remember those from when I was in college in the 90s. Yes, I'm old. <laughs> so those are the staple scents that to me that remind me when I was young in a time where like there wasn't really other than passing your exams. It wasn't a whole lot of drama. I really didn't have a lot of drama. My girlfriend's had a lot of drama, but not so much for me. All right. So I also melted quite a few of these. This is Vintage Chic Scents, Grandma's Pearl, Margot's Ballerina Clouds, and Jack Yo. And the breakdown is um, Marshmallow Lavender Vanilla, Marshmallow Birthday Cake Vanilla Bean Noel. This is beautiful. And what I have left are, are really big, the, the typical roses that you get from VCS and the large coins. So these are ones I'm now gonna have to um, cut in half or in threes. So I really did like this. It was beautiful. It's quite a nice blend actually. And I, I think it's, I think it's personally dupable with, especially if you have an extensive collection like myself, marshmallow, lavender, vanilla. I wouldn't say it's an herbal lavender. It is a sweet lavender and obviously the marshmallow and the vanilla, which is pretty much marshmallow, um, cream it anyway and make it sweet. So I'd say like vanilla, a lavender, and a birthday cake with a little twist of vanilla bean noel. I'm sure most everyone who has an extensive collection you probably do for her or get really close. So if she doesn't pour this again anytime soon, as you can see, this was poured in May of 2018. So that's almost a year ago. Um, but I really enjoyed that one. That was very good. So again, um, I'm really truly, and I've said this so many times in my videos, I'm trying to melt what I have. I still have a whole box at my friend Sarah's house of mostly VC, I actually think it's all VCS that was purchased almost a year ago, but I've just told her to hold on. I'm not missing it. I am not a, f I, I'm not missing it. I'm not sending her money for it. I'm like trying to see how much that box would be to send to an address actually in the States because I have I can get down to the States now um, over the border a little bit more to pick it up. But anyway, because it's like 65 American dollars to send this box up, not including if I get dinged with customs and even $65 American is, uh, it's close to $100 Canadian to ship a, a box of wax. So it's just one of those things where, yeah, who knows, right? But anyway, what I'm trying to say is I'm melting what I've got and I'm really making a conscious effort right now to go through some of the scents that I've had for a while. Some things I wanna throw in a new because I wanna try some new things. But again, like that Peck Sniffs England candle, these were also in this year's Throwback Thursday for winter edition. They're both from Glade. The one on this side here is Frosting with Love, Vanilla, Sugar, and Icing. And this one here is Candy, Sparkling, Joy, Red Berries, Pomegranate, Sugar. They're both fantastic. I really enjoy them. Um, th this Frosting with Love is your typical, like it's a, it's a sugar cookie scent. Um, less of the cookie, but more of the vanilla. Yeah, it's just a very nice sweet scent. It's great on its own. It's great for blending. This one here is, I've only melted it on its own. It's been beautiful. And the throw, the glades are massive throwers. Um, as you can see, look at the size of those squares compared to a size here of a, was it Sensationals? Or Better Homes and Gardens, I guess. So even if you wanted to, and if you have a smaller place, cut these little things in half and make them last longer. 
Um, after Christmas, when the seasonal, the limited edition ones, they do tend to go on sale, but, um, but really for us here in Canada, Glade ones are kind of pricey. Um, I'm only getting them like here and there and it's like two for $8, which is like $4 a piece. It's ridiculous, but whatever, you know, for the love of wax, right? All right. So here we go. We've got some sensationals. Actually, let's just taking a look here. Um, the a lot almost all of these are first time melts for me. So, but I will sh go and show you the one that's not a first time melt. But I can't get it here in Canada. And from what I hear, they may have been discontinued this particular scent in the United States. So, from my friends in the states, Ramona and Heather, they they send me little packages and they've thrown t tea time. Here in Canada, we have jasmine tea. Um, so vice versa, I send stuff to them in jasmine tea. But they've sent me things like this tea time. It's beautiful. It's just a beautiful tea scent. No, I, it has a little thing of sugar and lemon. I don't get the sugar. It's literally just a really nice tea scent with a little, little bit of lemon, but I really enjoyed it. Um, I can say I would definitely, if I found it when I was down in the States, cause I'm going down there, um, not long from now, it's less than a month and I'm down in the States, which is super exciting. So if I saw it, I would definitely buy it again. It's what I'm trying to say in a long long-winded way. Um, something that I have purchased before here in Canada, I did purchase this up here in the Great White North. Egyptian cotton is great. I love this one for my bedroom. It's just like a kind of, even though it says Egyptian cotton, it sort of reminds me of the, what, what vendors can call cashmere. So it's got that cashmere scent. I don't even know. Honestly, I've never even had cashmere, so I don't really know what that's supposed to entail, but very rich, little musky, things like that. It's very, very nice. I had that in the bedroom going, whereas a tea time one I had in my living room. Okay, so the next three from Sensationals are new to me. I found here in Canada. This one was gorgeous. I am glad I melted this because I'm absolutely going to purchase more of this. This is beautiful. It's a fruity, it is a fruity, fresh scent. It's gorgeous. I really enjoy this. I had these going in my one cube at a time in my bedroom, or sorry, my bathroom and my spare room. Cause I just have like a little wall plug in for those two rooms. Man, this thing kicked butt. It really did. And like I said, it's a fruity, fresh scent. It's oceany, but it's got like sense of, I don't even know. It's so, I can definitely get some coconut. There's a little sunscreen in there, a little fresh air breeze, but the, I feel not pineapple. Not strawberries, but maybe like a, I don't even know. It just smells awesome. Give it a sniff. It's, of course, Sensationals are found in Walmart, so hopefully you have a Walmart near you. And then this one, I know Sasha has recently recently posted a video where she said this is like one of her favorites. She went back and bought like, I don't even know, or she wanted to go back and buy like 15, which I don't blame her. This is fantastic. I'm happy. It's not just Linen Closet. Linen Closet in Canada was only sold in Canada. Again, it's one of those things I would send to my friends in the States because they couldn't get it. But Laundry Basket, I don't know. It's pretty darn good. And again, so nice to see that it is sold in the States and here in Canada. I can't tell you when I, these next, couple like the one I just showed you there this one and the next one they were new in our store and I hadn't seen newness in our store at Walmart for ages and so I was like oh I better try one and melt them soon so if I like them I'll get more so far definitely getting more ocean tides definitely getting more laundry basket it's so good again I melted this one in my bathroom oh it's so so good it's got a bit of musk it's got like it's laundry Fluffy towel dried laundry with a bit of musk. I want to say a little bit of musk as well. Sort of a little tinge of this one. Egyptian cotton. Now this one I was most excited on cold when I went to the store and smelt it. And I, I you know, still smelling it right now. Mmm, creamy like yogurt. Blackberry yogurt. I don't get much raspberry, but black, blackberry yogurt is what I got. And it smells amazing on cold, but I just, it did not resonate to me. There's nothing that screamed to me, blackberry, raspberry, or vanilla. I don't even know what I smelled. In fact, I, I was actually felt like this, this one got lost. And also too, the color of this wax is like a, as dark as a blackberry. So it's almost black, but it's like um, a really deep purple blue. It does stain the bottom of my uh, white cups <laughs> for my melters. 
I mean, obviously it'll come off over time. It's not a big deal. It won't be there forever, but it also is got really gooey. So once I melted it and was done with it, and then I do the freezer method to get rid of my wax, I popped it out and there was still gooeyness on the bottom. Um, so I would not repurchase black raspberry vanilla, nor would I actually, um, I wouldn't recommend it at least maybe it was just that one. I don't know, but I just felt it to be really, really weak. So this on the other hand was screaming cereal for root loops. In fact, I have it going right now. I just have two cubes going, uh, in a warmer just over there and it's, it screams, it says orange buttercream cupcake, but it screams Fruit Loops, 100%. Like you get the sweetness, you get the orange, you get the the cereal scent. I'm not a fan of Fruit Loops in general. Um, for those who have been following my channel for quite some time, you probably know that I'm not a huge Fruit Loop fan. Um, this was okay, but it's not something I would go out and purchase again. This one, I I think I went, I one of my friends had said, hey, I'm going shopping Walmart. Uh, these are the new ones. I mean, this is probably like a year or two old now and I'm just getting to it now. I'm trying to get to the melts that have been sitting in my basket, sitting in my collection for quite some time. So, oh, there you go. I've had it since October of 2017. So there you go. I'm trying to re really consciously use what I have. At the end of the day, that's exactly what I'm doing. All right, so I wouldn't repurchase that one, but if you like the scent of Fruit Loops and you live in the States, Better Homes and Gardens Orange Buttercream Cupcake is definitely great. Yes, yes, and yes. I am a fan of Jaws, and this is Super Tarts Get Out of the Water, and it's uh, Strawberry Jam and Jaws. And so it's Strawberry Jam, Sea Salt, Fresh Air, Sea Grass, Sliced Plum, and Sweet Pear. Fabulous. Um, one... Whereas something like Better Homes and Gardens or Sensational is and I use two cubes. Anything super tarts, I use one cube. It's really strong. So with that being said, I could have probably put this in here, one cube in my warmer in my bathroom, for example. I, I tend to melt my jaws blends in my bathroom. Could have lasted me three days. But I have so much wax that will, I literally go through one cube each day kind of thing. So um, yeah, there you go. Very strong, very good. Has been a repurchase, will be a repurchase, 100%. All right, let's get to a couple little bags. Um, all right, we have, I have gone through Winter Mermaid from Rose Girls. It's the last of it. I am, I'm sad. This is one of the things I hoarded for so long because I never ordered any more. I have peppermint, I have shaving cream, and I have Gilligan's Brew in the mini melters. So I can try my hand of creating this again in my own way with Rose Girls Mini Melters, but these were the big chunk bags and they were gorgeous. Winter Mermaid is hands down if you like pepper, peppermint. Um, Gilligan's Brew is like a coconut cream and shaving cream and peppermint and it's absolutely brilliant. It's spectacular. It's probably one of my favorite blends from Rose Girls and I'm happy. I'm happy I melted it. I am, because there was a time I probably would have hoarded it and like, oh, I can't melt that because I, you know, I've only got mini melters of all of them, so I, you know, can make some more work, my own work for myself, but whatever. Tallulah Poe Wax Company, another great Canadian company. Butterfly Kisses, it's um, a Victoria's Secrets Love Spell and Cotton Candy Blend. This is beautiful. I think that's a great blend. I've seen a lot of vendors start doing that as well. Um, in the States where there was the uh, Love Spell and Cotton Candy. And it's actually, it is a really good blend. And they were beautiful butterflies in the shapes of butterflies. They were huge, they were solid, and they were really nice. So actually these next two are Rainbow Melts. They were both in those big sugar cookies. I don't know if you remember me hauling them quite some time ago. Both were poured in December 28, 2017. I think I received them in January of 2018. So, but Rainbow Melts lasts a long time. I have no problem with her throw re retention, um, her wax scent retention. So I have Blackberry Jam Butter Cookies and Sugar Cookies, and then I have Strawberry Crunch Sugar Cookie. Out of the two, I really like the Blackberry Jam Butter Cookies and Sugar Cookies more than the Strawberry Crunch Sugar Cookie. I felt that this one had a better throw than this one. Um, and okay, and you don't hear me saying this very often, and it's not because it's not because the wax was bad. I it's not my scent pre preference, but I melted from Rainbow Melts. This is was part of her uh, no, it was Christmas sampler. So this is a Christmas sampler from 2018. Um, elf's elf 
breakfast. I think this was in her advent calendar. Yes, this was in her advent calendar. I can't remember what day it was. This is Cap'n Crunch cereal and maple pancakes. Well, I kind of knew I wasn't going to like it just from the sentinel descriptions and then smelling it on cold. But of course, I'm going to give it a shot, right? Like I've had many things change my mind. Um, love Rainbow Melts. Love the love everything about it. Uh, the, she's Crystal's amazing. She's improved so much with her shipping and her entire ordering concept. I think it's fantastic. I think hopefully it's in her best. Um, it's in her favor to have done so. I hope that she's getting a lot of great business. Uh, with that said, I love a lot. I like so much of Rainbow Melts items, uh, but this is not my favorite blend. I don't like maple. I don't tend to enjoy maple syrupy sweet like sticky sticky ooey gooey scents in my wax um i just find that gets too heady too heavy in my home so it wasn't my favorite but it's strong as heck that's for sure um but one of the ones from her coffee sampler that i did melt i cut this in half and melted each half in my melters in one was right over there and one's right behind me so in my great room if you will i love you a latte which is caramel latte peppermint and marshmallow this is very nice but i think it is dupable um, it's not as unique as some of her other coffee scents that I have tried. It is very good, but I have a lot of things I could probably dupe to get this, but I am glad I had it. In fact, um, just so you guys know, when she did her coffee sampler, I didn't order one sampler. I ordered doubles. So I ordered two. So I got two of everything and I'm never regretted that because um, the majority of everything in there, I absolutely adore. Last but not least, this is the scent itself, Celtic Moon Spice, has always been talked about from my friend Ramona, Ramona Tulk, and it's fantastic. I've never melted it. I had never melted Celtic Moon Spice yet. This is Sugar and Spice Gourmet Soy Candle Company. Um, less is more with her wax. I, again, I'm not hoarding it. I'm not holding on to it, just to give you an idea how long I've had it. I've had it since October of 2017. Yeah, so still through like a beast and it was amazing and it's like cinnamon and nutmeg it's almost a chai but not quite it's a little headier with the cinnamon but it's a sweet cinnamon and not a red hot so that's really good all right you guys that is that and hey i don't know i don't know how many of you guys are thinking about coming up to dallas or how many of you guys live in dallas but if you live in the, the dallas area or would like to come out and uh have a, just like even if it's just one night or two but Ramona and I are going to be up in the Dallas area. All the dates are down below. And although our hotel personally has changed because that hotel we were originally trying to get into completely filled. I don't know if there's a concert going on, but uh, it filled up fast. And by the way, let me just say the cost of one room hotel stay. And it's not Ramona. Like Ramona has been amazing. She is. She and Char have been awesome like recommendations because I know nothing, right? They have been awesome, but holy cow, the price of my plane ticket to go return from Canada to Houston to see Ramona is in Canadian dollars, $60 American difference between that and my one night hotel in downtown Dallas. Holy cow, because of, you have to remember I'm paying it in American dollars and Ramona's paying for one, one night and I'm paying for one night. Holy cow, I cannot get over that. It's like, I'm such a bargain person <laughs> and like that is it but I, like that is my vacation and I'm so looking forward to it and like I said like I am so happy to be going with like Ramona and Char and Char is going to kind of show us downtown. I'm excited. I, I mean that's the price you pay to stay downtown in a nice you know a great city like Dallas is that you basically can walk out your hotel and like boom you're there. You, you can go anywhere you want and i think that's fantastic no different than vancouver um, although vancouver is still pretty far away from me uh doesn't seem like it on a map but it is vancouver's not a cheap place to stay either so anyway as i'm gonna stop talking now as always you guys thank you so much for watching be safe take care and have fun bye guys